Fortunately, fine Odians still survive, like the Odeon at Muswell Hill in North London, designed by George Coles. Its merit has been recognised by official listing as a building of outstanding architectural interest. Across the road lies the parish church of St James, which opposed the construction of the Odeon and was responsible for its entrance being positioned at the far end of the parade of shops rather than on the corner facing the church. Behind a modest entrance lies an unexpectedly tall entrance hall where an original light fitting hangs above the place where an island pay box was once located. The lack of windows above the canopy is a pointer to Cole's hand in the design. One of two matching entrances to the circle has been blocked by the new combined cash desk and confectionery counter, but otherwise this area remains little altered. light fittings above steps to the circle lounge. The other is above the passage to the stalls. displays filmmaking equipment on one side and leads to screen one as the circle is now known since two mini cinemas have been unobtrusively inserted into the rear stalls area in keeping with all Odeons the auditorium is comfortably furnished and planned with excellent sight lines there is a long central segmented ceiling light running the full length of the ceiling from front to back which might be interpreted as a strip of film. The stepped forms above the screen could be interpreted as camera shutters. film reels and spools. The, 
pattern in the plaster work of the side walls contributed to the acoustic balance, disguised the vents of the plenum heating system, concealed the lighting and gave directional emphasis. And heaven never seemed at my fingertips before My what a different night Could there be a more pleasing environment for settling back and enjoying a film?